welcome back to my channel my name is Olua Yemisi if you haven't met me yet and yes some people call me Shante so I'm back again with a new video and in today's video I'm going to be transitioning from this outscale version of myself to this glam thing right here stay tuned to see how I achieved this look and if you are subscribed already what are you waiting for like seriously you should know that really we're gonna have a problem if you're not subscribed to this channel we cannot be friends why don't you just click on that subscribe button down below this screen it costs you nothing and with that done you'll be subscribed to my channel and you can be part of this family yeah so I'm waiting for you right now right now right now yay we cannot wait to welcome you into this family so let's just get right into today's video Yay, my brows are done and I kind of used like a very very light concealer to clean up my brows today because of the kind of eye look that I am going for so first and foremost what I'm doing after I outline my brows is to use the Erwin Care tinted eyebrow gel to set the brows in place and to further blend out the brow products that I used next I'm going into my Kenna cosmetics liquid lipstick in Ivy and that is what I'm using as a base for my eyeshadow look today. I'm just taking a brush from the OA Cosmetics brush set. This is the blending brush set. The blending brush out of the brush set and I'm using that to blend out the liquid lipstick. Next, I'm taking my 35 Morphe brushes 35M or 350M palette and I'm taking the orange shade that I showed to blend out the liquid lipstick the edges of the liquid lipstick that I applied earlier on and I just went ahead and did the same thing to the other eye now I am going into the brown shade that I showed from the same Morphe palette and I'm just using that to deepen my crease some more with another brush from the OE Cosmetics brush set now I'm taking a deeper brown even a deeper brown than the one I used earlier on, and I'm focusing this inside the crease and I'm using an, a, the smallest blender brush that exists or that we have in the OE Cosmetics brush set to do this so now I'm going back into the first blending brush that I used and I'm just using that to blend all the colors together and avoid the harsh lines that you could easily get from using liquid lipstick as the base for your eyeshadow now I'm taking my Erwin Care um, eyeshadow base this is like a white base and I'm using that to cut out my crease and I'm extending the crease I'm not doing an half I'm doing a full cut crease and I'm extending it to the outer corner of my eyes so we're going to do the same to the other eye again and yeah we have this so now I'm taking my Makeup Revolution um, Sugar 2 palette and I'm taking that nude color from inside there and I'm just placing that on the eyeshadow base as my lead color. And now I'm taking the small blending brush that I used from the OA Cosmetics brush set and I'm just using that to further like clean up my crease and the that I have on to the demarcation of the demarcation of the crease color to the lid color now I'm taking my Beauty Bank NG glitter rain palette and I'm just taking the glow what is that and I'm just taking the gold glitter from that palette and I'm using this pencil precise brush from the OE cosmetics brush set to apply like a thin line on my cut crease I'm quite messy when it comes to glitter so please forgive the application process I went off camera to apply my lashes and I'm back applying the Haga and Esther foundation in Coco yeah Coco and I'm blending that with a foundation brush moving on to highlighting I'm using my um, Colourpop liquid concealer in in what in uh, I can't remember what the shade is and a beauty sponge I'm just using that to blend out the concealer oh 
oh yes the shade of the concealer is deep golden i just remembered <laughs> now i'm taking my foundation brush and i'm just using that to blend out the outer corner of the concealer And I'm going into my black opal um, cream to powder foundation. This is in the shade Deep Dark, and I'm just using that to contour my face. Now, I think I must have used a lot of concealer to highlight my face because the concealer just went everywhere, like all over my face, basically. But I'm going to bring Sanity back. I'm pinching the brush a bit and just using that to shape out my nose and I went back into the foundation brush to blend the concealer and the contour together, the highlight and the contour together. Now I'm setting my contour with the Maybelline powder in cacao. And I'm setting the highlights with my Sasha Buttercup setting powder. I'm using the Zaron uh, eye pencil. It's it's in the shade. Um, I I don't know what the shade is right now, but it's like a dark blue eyeliner. And I'm just using that to line my eyes. And yes, we have that. And I took the transition colors that I used earlier and just mixed all of them together and smoked out the blue that I have under my eyes. Now I'm applying some uh, mascara on my bottom lashes with the Zaron Cosmetics Lengthening Mascara. And I'm also further extending the glitters that I used as a liner in the corner of my eyes. So this is what we have so far. Moving on to brush the powder under my eyes. I'm using the NYX No Filter Powder to brush off the powder under my eyes. And I'm using um, the Black Opal Powder which is my, like, I use this for all over the face with the powder, with the powder brush and I'm just using that to further blend out all the products that I've applied on my face. Now, moving on to highlighting, I'm using the Master Chrome, Maybelline Master Chrome Highlighter. This is in the shade 100, I think, I believe, I'm not sure. <laughs> I'm just using that to glow up, like glow up my life right now because I wasn't so sure I was feeling this look. And I'm using the MAC blush in Breezy just to bring back some color to my face. Now to my lips, I'm lining my lips with the Colourpop Lippy Pencil in K and I'm following that up with the Milani Lip Gloss in Bear Secrets. I wasn't even going to do anything dramatic to my lips, not with all the drama going on with my eyes. And yes, that's pretty much the whole look. I just went on to spray my face with a new band silic setting spray as I'm doing just now. And I went to do some magic to my hair. <laughs> Not really magic. I just loosened the band to knot that it was in. And I fluffed it out with my hands and with a rattle comb. And that's basically all I did. So guys, finally, this is the finished look. Seriously, don't even ask me. I have no idea how I ended up with this makeup look. I had something else in mind, and this is the finished look that I came up with. I really do not know. I'm feeling the hair like I just thought I should leave my natural hair and not wear any wig. So I like how it's looking like a 90s kind of glam even though that was totally not what I had in mind. Either who's hope you enjoyed today's video, you learned one or two things and you like this look. Yeah, that's the ultimate goal, right? As I said earlier, don't forget to subscribe, like this video if you found it helpful, leave a comment for me below, let me know what I can do better, what you like to see, and that kind of stuff. Like, I'm open to healthy feedback and constructive criticism. So, I'm looking forward to seeing you guys in my next video and reading from you in the comment section. Are they good